Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to make uh, a special French toast, and guess what? My phone's possessed. I was standing back here. It turned itself on. All I did was bring up the camera app, and bam, stood back, and all of a sudden, brink, before I could even situate it, it was recording. They're watching us. Okay, for this French toast recipe, huh, where'd it go? Hold on. I'm back. I was missing the bread. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the crusts off. I'm using a bread knife. It's serrated so it cuts without smashing the bread. Just saw back and forth. Go around the edges like yonder. So... Um, yeah, I've never made French toast like this before until last night. I tried it and it was pretty good. All right, chickens get my scraps. Got a chicken bowl. So now I have two lovely pieces of bread. You can use whatever kind of bread you like, but I just got the average sandwich bread. All right, I'm gonna take yonder egg, crack it in the bowl. Make sure there's no chicken in there. Bark, bark. Okay, that's a good egg. Nice and orange. It should be a little bit darker than that, but early spring, my chickens are just a tiny bit low on protein, so I'm going to give them some protein this weekend. All right, so I'm going to take my egg. I got a pinch of fine sea salt here. Put that in there. I've got some coarse ground pepper. Put that in there. And uh, a lot of people like to put cinnamon in theirs. I forego the cinnamon. I don't like it in there. What's that? That's nothing. Okay. I'm turning on my burner. And while that burner's warming up, I'm going to whip up my egg mixture. Got to get me a fork. Hey. Okay. Got my giant fork. Give that a whip or do. You don't have to use a giant fork. I, what I need is a mini whisk. I need whisks anyways. I don't have any. I used to, but, you know, they get worn out. I like my egg mixture whipped really, really good. Oh, I forgot to melt. Uno momento. I'm back. That was my fridge. Okay. Got a little bit of milk. Using this dish for a little something, something. I don't like a lot of milk in my French toast. All right, I got to hurry up because the burner's on. And so I'm going to take my tablespoon of butter, put that in there. Oh, yeah. All that's melting. I'm whipping. I whip it. I whip it good. I sang that earlier. What was I making? Oh, my candy mixture. Okay. We want quite a bit of butter in the pan. Like yonder so. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to take this dish that's flat, put my egg in there. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. All right. First, we're going to dip that piece of bread in. Okay. The thing came up across my screen. All right. We're going to put this in there like that. And I'm going to throw this piece of bread on top of it. Now the lady online, she soaked both pieces, but I don't do that because it gets way too soggy. And this is messy, but I got my two pieces. It's layered and I just put it in the pan. Okay. And now, hang on. Okay. Ooh, I need spatulas. Dueling spatulas. Can you come along with me here? Sorta. And I'm just gonna keep shaping it. I'm trying to heat up a little bit. All that butter is gonna make it nice and brown on the outside. And it's supposed to be fluffy on the inside. I did one slice last night, cut in half. 
I'm starving right now. And uh, so I need a little bit of a lunch. And we're going to April and Caleb's tonight for dinner. So I've got dough proofing in the oven. I'm hoping to make my very first. Oh, ah, stinking hot. That hurt. Stinking butter. Anyway. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. It's just sitting in the oven proofing. So it's got probably about 15 more minutes to go. Actually, 30 minutes to go. Eh, 33. Okay. See how this is a looking? Right there. Can you see it? Nice and crispy. I'm going to do the sides as well. Not going to have any sogginess on the edges at all. Okay. keep hearing a beeping noise. Let me check my fridge door. Yep. That was my fridge. Left the door ajar. We got this refrigerator um, over the winter. Brand new. $3,500. Right? Well, this one's got a big dent in the front door, but the seals still work and everything. And it's one of them stainless steel fridges, one that I've always wanted. It's got this freezer drawer down below that you can slide out. Oh my goodness. I don't know if we paid a dime over $300 for it, brand new, because it's a scratch and dent. I don't care about the dent. I just care that my stuff is cold and that I got room for it. Right on, right on. Look at this. Now, it's supposed to be, if it turns out like the one I did last night, it'll be fluffy on the inside. Okay, I'm about to pull it out. Keep it on that side for a second. That's what I'm doing is just putting it on the side a little bit. All right. Find me a plate. Okay, chickens will get a little bit of egg stuff there. Put that on their bread slices. Yeah, they're going to like that. All right, let's pull this off and plate it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Let me get up. Okay, I got my fork. Um, normally I would use my homemade syrup, but this is almost gone, so I'm just going to use log cabin. Just do a couple squiggles like that. That's all you want. You don't want to douse it. See, doesn't that look good enough to eat? All right, let's slice this baby open. See what we got. See that? Look at the inside. Look at that. Interesting. Nice and fluffy. I'm going to cut it like yonder. And I'm going to cut it again. i got bite sized chunks for my big mouth. Right on. What it looks like, y'all. It smells really buttery, mapley good. So, okay. So, that's. You see it? Yeah, there we go. Fluffiness. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna drop it. Mmm. Coffee. That is pretty good. I think I found a new way to enjoy French toast. I was getting pretty burned out on homemade French toast because it was just lifeless and blah. 
because I don't buy French to or Texas Tulsa that often, but just layer it. It gives it a fluffiness. I just can't tell you. Oh yeah, like my curtain. Put the blanket back up. Look at that. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Good stuff. There you have it. It only took me 17 minutes to show you. 